Thank you, Sierra Club, Massachusetts. Thank you for, thank you, Biodiversity for a Livable Climate. This is a, this is a great gathering. And thank you for attending. Uh, my name's John Reinhardt. I'm president of the board. Just my background very quickly. I've been with the association for, for over 30 years, which shocks me. But um, I'm also on the board of Cambridge Heat, which Zeynep presented this morning. I'm, I, help, I help her out a bit. I was an environmental policy analyst for the state of Massachusetts for quite a while. And I was on the Somerville Conservation Commission for almost 20 years. Now, I just, I'm also a certified Kundalini yoga teacher. So that's my background. The Mystic River Watershed, the Watershed Association has been around for since for over 45 years. Over 45 years. And um, we've basically served as the voice of the Mystic River. Uh, a river that's been pretty industrialized, pretty ignored, feared, and abused. That's the old mystic. The new mystic, not so much. The new mystic, there's quite a bit going on that most people don't know. So I'm a biker, and one of the big things is connectivity. And we have a Greenways staff person in charge of identifying key parcels that present blockages for uh, transit along the, the Mystic. And you can say, well, why? what has that got to do with water quality and the traditional things that watershed associations do? Well, we uh, figured out that very, very few people know about the Mystic River period. And the reason for that is that we, unlike the Charles, do not have a continuous pathway along the river. If you don't have people along the river, you don't have people stewarding the river. So a major goal is to get that access, which has been denied and ignored for so long. And it's actually happening. There are only two or three parcels that are under uh, development right now that will create a contiguous uh, path for a biker or for a pedestrian from essentially the Alewife Brook, uh, Alewife T Station and Charlestown. Once you get to Charlestown, you can you can figure out the rest. Um, so we've been around a long time, 76 square miles, that's that area. Um, and bringing it back to the conference, uh, the watershed jurisdiction is actually the most logical uh, jurisdiction to approach climate change adaptation, if you think about it. I mean, the water that drains into the natural system already. But things that you may not know, uh, so how many people have seen or heard or know a bit about the salmon migration in the northwest? Just raise your hand, just quickly. So pretty much everybody. How many of you have heard about the river herring migration in the northeast? Pretty good, boom. Um, how many of you know that the Mystic has the largest river herring migration numbers in the state of Massachusetts? All right. So, uh, what you may not know, though, is that we work with the Department of Marine Fisheries to do this count, give them the data, put it in their model, and spit out the number of fish that are migrating. Well, because we're doing that, we are working very closely with the modelers, and we found out that uh, that they 
do not count herring migrating at night. We do because we have set up a very innovative counting program with cameras. We have a camera on the fish ladder between the lakes, the Mystic Lakes, and we actually have had over 4,000 people to uh, log in and help us count fish. They can do it in their home from anywhere, and they do. People from Australia have logged in and helped us count. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty amazing. Well, that camera, we've also installed an infrared camera, so we count at night, and there are fish at night. And so the counts that are coming out of the model until we correct it are undercounts. So, um, so we have six amazing staff. We have over 600 official members, and we have over 1,000 volunteers that help us with everything from water quality monitoring, which is a monthly exercise for people who like to get up early. There are herring counters. Now, we have people who count, go to the dam and count fish, and that's a very important part of it but we're developing very quickly this video capability and the, the sort of people on the ground are the reality check for the video counting process. So there's a lot of statistics involved, there's a lot of development, it's quite involved and fascinating actually when you get down into it. There's, along with the herring, the river herring, there's an eel uh, migration that happens, which is also very important for a healthy ecosystem. And we're counting those as well. Um, so we have citizen scientists that do this, do the water quality monitoring, the herring counting. There's also invasive plant removal, which I think would be sort of this interesting issue given our talk this morning about the damage that happens with invasives and that you have to sort of play it out. We had water, ch we have water chestnuts carpeting the Mystic River. We've been able to beat that back at, at a great effort. Um, but there are other issues that come up after that because it's a complex ecosystem we're dealing with. We're not just dealing with water chestnuts. but. Uh, there's quite a bit of success on the aquatic invasives. We're also doing terrestrial invasives like oriental bittersweet, phragmites, and other things. All these things can't be done without a lot of volunteer help. We also tree plant in Somerville. We have a program to plant trees. And lastly, we have a policy committee that helps us monitor what's going on in the river and give the river a voice in policy, regulations, as well as developmental license proceedings, which sounds very dry, but it's actually a fascinating way to know on the ground level what is happening with the river on a, in a very granular sense. So these are the volunteer opportunities with the organization, with the association, they, and all this is to say that intimacy with your local environment will help you relate to the larger issue of climate change in a very dramatic and real way. And that's essentially why I'm here. Thank you very much. Sir.